Hey guys, I am here with D James. He is an amazing DJ and producer, and he is dropping a song tonight titled Avele, which is short for available. So, um, and it's and he features Crayon. So, I want to ask you, what is you know what kind, what genre of song, what what genre would the song fall under, and you know what inspired your production and the uh, choice of Crayon on this particular track? Okay. So it's definitely Afrobeats. Okay. Uh, it's uplifting. It's a very up tempo jam. It has like uh, you know slight hints of Mafiano, just some logs drums. It's not very heavy. It's just like a nice subtle one, um, and it's very much like live instrumentation. I had a lot of like live violins, cellos, guitar, and stuff played on it. So that's what my production is about, really, like using live instruments. I don't want my stuff to sound expensive. That's the, that's the plan. And Crayon was an easy choice. We've we've been friends for a few years now. Um, He's just a great artist. I, I was a fan of him first, and then we connected, and it turned out he's a great person too. So we've been going back and forth on beats for like last year or so, and then he got this when he sent it to me, and I was like, man, I need to put this out. So we rushed everything through, and yeah, it's dropping tonight. So can, really I, can I ask you what your favorite part of the song is? Um, just you know what? It's not even like one part of it. It's the way the whole thing progresses. It's like it's a real song. It's like it has it has the catchy TikTok chorus, which you you'll hear, but. I just like the way everything. Okay, so um, for this particular track, Avele, so two questions. First one is um, your choice for Crayon, why? And the second one was, um, is there a particular um, message that the song is trying to pass across to, to people, like from the lyrics and the production? Is there mm -hmm. a particular emotion you're supposed to invoke with people that you're hoping you know, would, you know, people would get when they listen to the song? For sure. Um, so on Crayon, it's just, we've been friends for a long time. He's just, he's, he's, he's an artist that I've loved. I've been playing his music, supporting him for years now. And when we've, we've connected online and stuff, it just turned out he's a great person too. So we were going back and forth on, on beats and ideas for a little while. And then, yeah, he made this one a couple of months back. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, we have to rush this through. So we just mixed master the song, finished it up, like got everything done, like out. So yeah, it drops tonight. Really excited for that one. I guess it was the what is the emotion you're hoping people would feel when they listen to the song? It's definitely a summer song. It's very like yeah, uplifting, happy. Like it's yeah, the the drums are upbeat. So all the all the violin and everything, it's very emotional. And um, the song is just anytime you call, I'm available. That's what it's about. It's just oh. about someone who, yeah, it's always there for you. Um, it's an emotional one. Yeah, Crayon writes great music. Crayon's really, a lover really boy. We love we love we love Crayon. Definitely. Yeah, uh, so uh, my last question is: okay, I'm pretty sure people would be would wondering. You are clearly not what a traditional Afrobeats artist or DJ looks like. So mm -hmm. I'm going to ask: What was your first? At what point did you decide? You know, you know, you wanted to do Afrobeats, or what was that when you fell in love with Afrobeats to the extent where you you have decided to create Afrobeat music? Okay. Um, so I've been playing it. They're actually playing the song right now. Out there. That's amazing. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> Um, yeah, so I started playing Afrobeats pretty much when I started DJing, like 17 years ago. Now. Wow! So I've been I've been playing it since way way back. The, uh, like, okay, because like, 17 like, years ago Afrobeats wasn't this huge, so obviously, no, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, he yeah, he has been there with us from the beginning, yeah, and we're so glad for that. So, um, thank yeah. you very much for for coming on, and um, good luck with your release. I hope it does really really well. I um, I'm not sure how comfortable you are with this, but I'll be giving everybody a hug that comes on to the, to the interview. So if you're up for that, sure, that's it. Thank yeah. you. So